Hey folks, it's Tony and Joe from, from Father, Father and Son, Son fishing. fishing. Today I'm going to show you five simple, easy, effective tips to better your fishing game in under five minutes. Here we go. Tip one, some easy fishing reel tips and tricks that will prolong the life of your reel and just as importantly, allow you to better pinpoint exactly where you always want to place your bait. Additionally, this technique is also going to prevent you from ever getting a backlash or a tangle in your reel ever again which of course will really aggravate you, and it takes time away from how long your bait's actually in the water and able to catch fish. So, once you cast out your spinning rod like Joe is doing, as soon as the bait is landed where you want it, you're gonna manually close the bail with your hand, okay? This is gonna prevent you from having to reel it in in a real clunky manner. I promise you this will prevent the line from ever having slack in it, which is what leads to tangles, okay? So this is exactly how you should do it. Manually closing the bale each time, as soon as you'll have the line casted to the exact precise point you want the bait placed. So Joe's gonna show you how not to do it, like so many anglers do, by simply reeling the line forward. Look at how clunky that is. You don't wanna do that, okay? So give this a try, folks. Do it already if you don't. You'll enjoy fishing more. You'll never have to deal with tangles and backlash in your reel ever again. And you'll find it a lot easier to control bait. Tip two, folks, is to become a casting pro like Joe is going to be doing here, okay? It sounds simple and easy, and it can be if you practice casting over and over again, whether it's in your local pond like Joe is doing, okay, or in a large field or on a baseball diamond, whatever you want. Learning how to cast, like we mentioned in tip one, is absolutely going to increase your odds of putting the bait right in front of the fish. Sometimes this makes all the difference in the world between casting and actually catching, okay? Hear me out. So just like baseball and football always come down to mere inches, right, on any play that gets reviewed, you have to be the same way with fishing. Many times fish won't chase baits for whatever reasons. They're on their spawning bed or their metabolism is still slow. It doesn't matter. You got to be able to put the bait right in front of the fish, okay? Because especially in hard to reach places like under docks or under brush or fallen trees, you got to be a casting pro to be able to consistently put the bait right in front of the fish, okay? So what we're gonna do here now, consistently casting over and over again, just like Joe's been doing, you gotta be able to cast into a bucket, like Joe's gonna do right now from 20 feet away. So get yourself a casting plug and cast from 20, 30 feet away, right into a bucket, just like Joe did there. Tip three, to use the sharpest, strongest hooks money can buy. Believe me, having the best, sharpest hook will always ensure you're giving yourself the best chance to land every fish you catch. Joe and I only use gamakatsu and Guggen hooks when we fish. We found that these two are absolutely the best razor sharp hooks on the market. We've used other hooks over the years. Of course, they catch fish, but we've landed more fish knowing we got the right hook in his mouth every time. So if you're an avid fisherman like us and you're always out on the water, you know your fishing hooks get dull. They scrape up against rocks on the river bottom or they get hooked in logs or trees or whatever. Don't take any chances. Buy the sharpest hook out there. Change them as often as you need to if you think they get dull. And on the topic of hooks, how many times have we mentioned you got to have blood red hooks? Whether those are snelled hooks, treble hooks, EWGs, worm hooks, jigs, it doesn't matter. It's proven scientifically fish see the color red the best. And like we've talked about, blood red hooks mimic wounded, dying, bleeding bait fish. The fish is apt to trigger the strike when they know their meal comes easier. That's all. Tip four is another simple one, probably the most crucial if you're serious about catching fish every time you hit the water, and that is be open to change. Change everything, okay? Lure sizes, lure colors, lure profiles, depths, uh, everything you possibly can do. When fishing is slow, when you're fishing a new body of water, you're dealing with sun or weather or barometer issues, you gotta be willing to change colors and sizes and types of lures, okay? Fish are very temperamental, just like humans. And they have bad days just like us. Maybe it's a water temperature, maybe it's oxygen levels, or there's a pending cold front coming, it doesn't matter. You have to keep experimenting until you find them. And remember, what works today may not work tomorrow or the next time you come back to the body of water. Hey folks, tip five is to actually use the hook holder that's on your rod, okay? You never want to use the rod eye. That's not what it's there for. It leads to the eye getting worn down or it frays or nicks the line when the barb is moving, okay? Especially when you're transporting rods. Always use the hook holder on your rod. That's what it's there for. 
Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or thoughts, and please make sure to subscribe before you go. Oh yeah, check out this awesome video in the upper right that YouTube would want you to watch next. Happy fishing!